Screen Monkey. Um, I'm Long Lee, I'm one of the developers of Screen Monkey. Um, if you haven't seen Screen Monkey before, then it's a little application you can use to display uh, video images and any kind of media on a second monitor without having all the hassle of having to maximize windows and um, move things around and go between different applications. Once you open Screen Monkey, you get these blank clip slots. Um, each slot you can drop any media type and quite easily play that media. So um, we're just going to get started here. Uh, first thing we need to do is to check that we're actually displaying onto the correct monitor. So if we right click on empty slots and select settings, uh, down here we've got our display settings. So normally you probably want to put on the second monitor full screen. Um, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to select primary monitor 50% so we can see what we're doing. Select the right display setting and click OK. Then we just select, click on an empty slot to add a new clip. This opens the cr clip creation wizard um, and gives us a list of all the clips we can add. So we're going to create a colour clip. So we select the colour clip and click on OK. This gives us a list of colours we can add. I want to create my own custom colour, so I'm just going to create a kind of purpley colour here. OK. Select OK, and that creates our new clip. To play that clip and display it on the screen, we just click on it, and it displays it. You can see it here. Um, to get rid of the clip, just press Clear. We can also add clips by dragging and dropping them. So I'm just going to add a, an image to here by going to my pictures, finding an image, and then dragging it onto an empty slot. Again, we can just click on that, and it'll go to the screen. Click on another clip, it'll play that, clear, it'll clear. We can also add a number of different clips at once. So if we go to video, I can s add a number of videos. Just so select both those videos, drag both those videos in, and it adds both those videos. Again, just click on the clip and it'll start playing.